I don't know why they didn't do anything about this property. I want them to act on this as soon as possible because it's an eyesore. Problem properties, trash everywhere and houses in bad shape. Upset neighbors in Struthers called our newsroom looking for answers. Now today we found out one of the biggest problems the city faces is overgrown grass. But it's not a quick fix. There are procedures that have to be followed. 27 First News reporter Julie Bursick headed straight to city leaders to get the answers. Julie? Yeah, you know, a simple call to the city isn't going to get the grass cut. Every case has to be checked out, and that actually starts the process. Today I learned exactly what needs to happen before city crews show up and cut grass in Struthers. The sound of a lawnmower can be annoying, but for Ernest Darby, it's a sweet sound. It was a wonderful noise. I, I, I loved it. I, I came outside. I had to see what was going on. It took two mowers and two weed whackers to cut the grass at the vacant house next door. We've been cutting this yard for two years. City ordinance requires grass to be kept at a certain height. Anything over six inches gets a written notification. We give them five days, um, sometimes uh, a little more. Uh, if they call and they have uh, certain circumstances that affect them. Probably about 35 Forty percent of them will be cut once you send a letter. Crews check houses, and if the grass isn't cut, the city cuts it for one hundred dollars. It also puts a lien on the property. We have over two hundred uh, letters that went out on high grass in the last two weeks. Uh, so far, we've addressed fifty of those, uh, cut them. Around eighty letters were sent back. That means the owner doesn't live there anymore. It's vacant, or there are other circumstances. The mayor says he understands why neighbors are frustrated about out of control grass in their neighborhood. Four summer helpers have been hired, nearly doubling the street department workforce. That will help it cover more ground. Ernest Darby is beyond pleased. Crews cleaned up the mess next to him. Looks real good, though. They did a real good job. So it took four people to cut the grass of that vacant house on Hawthorne that you just saw. Now, if there is another cut, there won't be as many employees for that. As far as a plan of attack for cutting hundreds of yards and struthers, the city says it's focusing in on one area at a time. Live in the studio, Julie Bursick, WKBN 27 First News.